if I had to choose one app as my favorite reading app, I'd definitely go with Pocket, which is formerly known as Read It Later. I love the simplicity of this design as well as the amount of things that you can do with the app. You've got the thumbnails on the right, the list of your articles. You can pretty much choose them. And if you want to only view certain types of articles, you can click on tags. You can only see articles for Android or sports or gossip, whatever you're into. And aside from that, you can search for a particular title or you can go to a URL and get more content that way. Uh, and aside from just saving articles, this saves video and images. So I can spot something on YouTube or Vimeo and I can add it to my queue not only to read later, but to watch later as well. The great thing about Pocket is that like most apps, it's got the dark view, it's got the light view. If I want to switch between the two, all I have to do is tap the text, but I can also change the brightness, all right? I can just scroll left or right to change the brightness. I can switch to the light view. I can tap on the, the text icon and change the font. You'll notice at the top, the, the headline changes. You know, mix up the amount of fonts that you have. I can increase or decrease the size just by tapping the two corresponding buttons. And then I go back to reading my uh, wonderful articles. Uh, if I want to share, I tap on it and I can just choose which app. I can also share two pockets. So if I'm in my Chrome browser and on the phone and I want to add to it, I just press share and it'll let me import from pocket. When I tap the little star, of course, that marks an island as a favorite. And when I go to favorites, it'll show up there easy to access. Pocket allows you to only download on Wi-Fi, only download the mobile version, uh, store files on the SD for offline use, and set how often it syncs. Every hour, instantly, twice a day, once a day, or never. Uh, a great thing about how you can manage your reading list or viewing list is that you can do items in bulk. Normally, in most apps, you tap on it once, and then you decide, okay, I'm going to apply a tag, I'm going to mark it as a favorite, I'm going to delete it, or I'm going to share it. With Pocket, I can go to the action bar and click bulk edit, and then I can do everything at once. So I'll select all three articles, and then I'm going to remove them from my favorites because I decide, you know what, this is no longer as important to me. I could have also added tags if they were all related to sports or something. Uh, Pocket is just a great app that you can use and you can do pretty much anything with it. Check out these other reading apps. They're all great as well, but I've got to say that among them all, I rate Pocket as my personal favorite. See which one's best for you and click on the links below.